Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies, and I have no idea what's underneath this mashing drum black shirt. We got a black box review, just not a blind black box review. We're going to do a reveal on stream. <laughs> We're going to reveal it. I don't even know what it is. He brought it over. We're going to test something. Black box style. Something. All right, ah. reveal. Woo! Yes. What is it? It's Jason, a black box. Check out Sh Jason, the mashing drum. Oh. We got black box whiskey. Whiskey in a box. Wow. Premium spirits. <laughs> whiskey on tap. This is like the yep. wine where you pop yeah. it out. Really? Keeps it half, fresh all the way through. Half gallon was 24 bucks. Look at that. And what? It's six year old whiskey. And they got a little grabber. <laughs> you can just pick it up and just take it with you. Look at this. They, they also make punch a out thing here. vodka and tequila. So wow. yeah, that's 40% uh, ABV, 1.75 uh, 1 liters. Um, it's toasty, spicy, complex whiskey. Really? Aged six years. Six years. This is done. What's the company with the big, they first started? Uh, my wife loves those. With the little spigot. Oh, this is the spigot. Yeah. It's got a little spigot. <laughs> Which is interesting. I figured you were going to be like whiskey in a box. Oh, no, no, because this should keep it. Have you it. seen it? Yeah, well, I have not seen it. No. My wife loves the uh, different wines, though, because it keeps it fresh. Yeah. So there's no air that's actually allowed to get inside. Now, the only thing, I don't know if being, I mean, it's a, pla oh, my, it's a plastic. Reminds me of some videos I just watched. Oh, I don't even know what that means. Um, <laughs> you know, it's got a plastic bag in there, so that's the only other, and then this usually should lock back down on it. Oh, that does it? Yeah, look there at you that. Go. See, look at that. See? Mmm. But it's intriguing. Now, let's, let's look at it. What a $24 half-gallon whiskey. Yeah, half-gallon whiskey. I'll tell you, what's your expectations? Okay. They're low. <laughs> Just going to tell you. Um... Uh, I, I didn't know this existed. Um, it's, it's got the whiskey with the E. So is this like a bourbon? No, just a whiskey. I know. What does that whiskey. mean though? It means American it's a spirit barrels. aged in wood. <laughs> I know. It's 40%. I guess I like, I mean, we'll judge it. It's by been aged spirit. for six years. Right. I do not see where it says, uh, neutral grain spirits yeah. with whiskey added. Right. So, so there's a little trepidation. I'm just telling you a little, but I love the idea that it at I least expect, keeps the oxidization out. I expect it to be better than Kentucky Deluxe. Well, I would I would not disagree with you there. Nose, grain, and a little floral, dust, corn. Hmm. Light. Think, yeah, light, but at, well, 40%. The floral surprised me, and there's something else in there, too. But it's not prejudged. It's very eating. smooth. It's very light. Caramel coloring, maybe. Caramel. A lot of caramel. You can't pour excess back in. <laughs> that's true <laughs> so because I don't think I'm going to finish this mm. if you are making the world's biggest bourbon whiskey and coke yeah dusty an easy We're, to use tap okay for a sophisticated pour it's not you saw the sophistication. I did. Here, I it, matter yeah. of fact, I need some more of that, good boy. Oh, my. Watch this. It foams a little. Oh! <laughs> hey! Hey! What are you doing? Fill it up. <laughs> Holy moly. Wow. <laughs> 
whiskey. I would like you. That was like fifty like, cents worth. I would of like you urinating on the table. <laughs> <laughs> this uh you never you never fail to surprise there's definitely caramel color you're worried there. about pouring it back yeah in i know i'm like i can't exactly. pour it back in well you want to save some of it <laughs> let me dance it around <laughs> like what it's, are you uh, doing i'll tell you what i was expecting more even though it's, it's just a whiskey i was expecting more bourbon notes mm -hmm. it's really it's it does come off more like a vodka that's been aged in wood um I wouldn't recommend anybody. But if you want something to sip sit around, this is definitely not a sit around and sip on whiskey. No, if you if you're having a, if you're having a party and you want to mass produce I don't know if this would even be good with Coke. You got any Coke? Pepsi. You got Pepsi? Yeah. I'll go grab go get a Pepsi. It. Hold on. Well, okay, so God, I'm argument. Is this even good as a, with a bourbon and coke? Let's find out. Hold on. <laughs> just to give you a little bit of the flavor just to give you a little bit of the devil may care hold on that's in the way yeah hold on yeah there you go now it's sticky now it'll be sticky too <laughs> let me try this it's been a long wow boy it just made it it's like a coke that's even sweeter yeah, I don't think people would even like that as a as a whiskey and that's coke. That's not good. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> you got to save this though for third oh. cousin Ralph. Yeah, when cousin it's not going to go back. Cousin, yeah, Shane cousin Shane, you'd be like, "Look what I got for you!" You'd be like, "That's nifty." <laughs> I'll write a song about that. All, All right. right. Well, we're going to go I, clean up. I, uh, I honestly, I don't think I could even recommend buying that for a party. I don't know. Probably not. But you can scotch it, you scotch gods. Slauncha. Let me shoot it right in your mouth. <laughs> 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 Woo, you can take that comment wherever you want. <laughs>